I'm Vanessa Joy here for Adorama TV, and today I'm gonna to show you how to shoot with flash to make it look like natural light versus super flashy. So to get started, I'm gonna show you the super flashy method. And not that this is bad, by the way, I'm just trying to show you two different styles. So I've got a lot of gear here, but the first one that I'm going to use is this OCF beauty dish. Now I am using Profoto, I'm using a Profoto B10, but the concepts that we're teaching really have nothing to do with the light itself. It does have to do with the size of the light that we are creating. What did I say this was? Oh yeah, this is the OCF beauty dish. It's a great little modifier kind of annoying to put together, um, but please hold while I do that. Now that we have this on, we've got this turned on, we're gonna get our model out here. Now, the reason why this is going to look a little bit more flashy is because we have a smaller light source compared to this big soft light around us. So that's gonna look a little bit different, probably not how you want it to look if you're trying to mesh it with natural light, but again, it's not bad. So let's have some fun with it, right? So I'm just going to set my exposure for where I would like it to be. That looks about right. And let's go ahead and do TTL and we will take a test shot. Ta-da! That's a hell of a test shot, guys. <laughs> All right, so right off the bat, this is not quite what we're looking for because the background's a little bit too dark. So let's give this light a fair chance. I'm just gonna raise my ISO since that's the easiest thing to do right now without changing the feeling of the exposure. Actually, we'll lower my aperture a little bit, maybe the three, two. All right, so that looks pretty good right there. Go ahead and hold hands in front. Nice, cute, looking at each other. Love that. And then go nose to nose. Nice. I'm shooting from way up here because I don't want that horizon line going through their heads. All right, so that is option one. Now, the reason this doesn't look super natural, again, is because we have a smaller light source. But one of the reasons, other reasons rather why I don't like this, is because it doesn't let them move a lot. The light is really small. It's only coming from one direction and that's not gonna let them move around and get more natural posing. Now, I could very easily bounce the light off of these ceilings right here. So let's just do that first, since that's the easiest option. And that's gonna give me a much bigger light source. In addition to it being a bigger light source, it's also going to spread around a lot more. So it's gonna light things like the foreground of this uh, palm tree. <laughs> There's palm trees in Jersey, guys. <laughs> and it'll let me use this as foreground because of that. So I'm not changing my settings at all. Stick it on TTL, let's see what we got. Oh, immediately, immediately, it looks better, more natural. The light is going everywhere, it's softer. Let's go ahead and switch to manual that locks in my power setting for me. Now let's have some fun, shall we? So cute. Let me go ahead and get some foreground in here. I'm just gonna go here, go look towards them. Nice. Now this foreground is evenly lit too. Do some sniffing. Nice. Just went for a more shallow depth of field here to really get what I was going for with this foreground. Lovely. All right, perfect. So that's it. That's how easy it can be to shoot. Um, now, let's just say if you want to shoot that natural light, but don't have this to bounce off of, well, instead, bounce off of something like this. And this is going to give you a nice, big, soft light. This is the Deep White Large Umbrella by Profoto. Slap on a diffuser so it just spreads the light even more. And we're going to get very similar results. So I just want to take a few like this, just so, you know, in case you don't have a nice white ceiling to bounce it off of you've got this option. Now you might be saying, why would you do this when it's actually a nice soft light outside? Well, it's soft light, but it's giving them raccoon eyes unless I do this. It's also raining, so I can't go into the light spot that I want and get the background to be the foliage. Lots of reasons why I would decide this instead of actually shooting natural light. I'm gonna raise this up a little bit, right about there. We'll set it to TTL again, because the exposure or the power setting we need from the flash is gonna change. Bring your dress kind of like in this way, almost like you're sort of cuddling up with them. Yeah. 
Again, I'm going high up here with the camera to avoid that horizon line that I'm getting. This is looking much more natural. So go ahead and do the exact same thing. Perfect. Kind of give her that bear hug from behind. Yeah, that's cute. Yep, you can snuggle her. Just playing with all the foreground that I can here. Oh my God. Oh, I thought it was <laughs> I thought it was your light. And just like that, and just like that yeah, it's, it's gone. gone. <laughs> Another reason to use flash so it doesn't go away. <laughs> That is perfect. And just nuzzle her again, like whisper in her ear. Yeah. Perfect. I think we got it. We got a lot of nice natural looking shots by making our light modifier really, really big instead of really small and balancing the ambient exposure with the light. So one is not too much brighter than the other. Anyway, take a look at the settings. Take a look at how we would edit some of these photos. So I have four of my favorite photos here, two of them I'm gonna decide between for the thumbnail for this uh, YouTube video. And I just thought I would edit them how I would finish off what I was doing. I have a feeling I'm gonna end up with this one. Mm, yeah, probably. No, oh, I was just hovering over. That's why you saw hovering over these presets. These down here are actually Manny Ortiz's presets, but I think for this, I'm gonna go with mine. I always go with my Joyfully Simple, almost always. Ooh. The gray day is fun though, but since we were trying to make <laughs> flash look like natural light, we're gonna go with Joyfully Simple since that most closely represents my brand and what I was shooting for. All right, so this looks pretty good to me. I did wanna warm it up. It looked a little pink to me. That was also because she was wearing a pink dress, but this looks pretty good to me. I am gonna come down here and just mess around with the hue a little bit. This magenta right here, just scooching that over a little bit, just in case there are any magenta hues. And then I am going to move the red hue to orange. There's slight fixes. You can see what I'm doing here, but it's just to get a more natural skin tone. And that looks pretty good to me. I'm probably just going to paste this on the rest of the photos. Although looking at this, I want this in black and white. Mm, yep, yeah, right there. All right, so now that I have my base exposure on these photos, I'm just gonna go ahead, or basic edit rather, go ahead and do my local adjustment brushes, some softening up of the skin, which also helps eliminate a bit of the shine. And if there is skin elsewhere, I usually go across all of that skin, even if it is not totally in focus. And of course, don't neglect our groom. There we go. And another thing I would want to do to these images would be to whiten up the eyes just a little bit, not a ton, doesn't need a lot. Don't want to make it look like her eyes are glowing, but I want to help her out. She literally does not need any whitening her teeth, but that's there. And saturate eyes. She's got a great eye color, really pretty brown. So that looks good to me. It's really subtle. So if I take that off and on, off and on, you can see a little bit of differences. You could go a little bit further and, you know, remove dark circles. Not that she really has anyone, but it just lightens the lines underneath. And let's do the same thing to the other photos. All right, that's it. Those are my favorite photos and how I would edit them here in Lightroom. I hope that's been inspirational for you. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, and leave me some comments about things that you like to do to get a natural looking photo with flash. Bye.